g'day and welcome to volume two of the uh, 23 and a half foot on-road caravan STM 2008. Uh, this featured build is going to be the, uh, the display piece for our third DIY show that we have planned for you in July. Okay, so let's look at the uh, design intent, uh, what we're gonna do here with this frame. So first things first, I had to uh, CAD draw this um, that's most important to me. Uh, I want to start from the ground up, so I've done a quick model of that. I'll show you that shortly. Um, after that, we will then move into bonding the floor to this frame. We're going to use Styro Floor HD, the 19mm uh, Thermalite product, so we're going to bond that to the uh, frame. And of course, we're going to get our uh, trusty Styromax panels. And as you have seen before, we are going to bond these to the side of this frame like so. Okay, so the um, walls will be rebated so the um, end wall can come into it and then the roof and the front wall can also come into the side wall. So we'll show you that uh, as we go along. So anyway, let's head to CAD and we'll show you the frame. Okay, welcome to the 3D design world of SolidWorks. That's what we use here. Um, as a business or other businesses we've had um, in the past, we've been using SolidWorks since 95, so uh, it's a very good program. All right, so here we go. Here is the uh, model of um, Victoria and Luke's trailer frame from downstairs. So uh, what I've done here is I've, um, I've, I've gone off the, uh, the longest length so as I said, this is only four mil out of square, this build, so you're only talking a few mil. So I've gone off the, uh, the longest length and um, the narrowest width. Um, and that's what I'll, uh, I'll work the width of my uh, roof panel off um, as the, uh, the body comes out slightly by a couple of mil. That will only aid in the fitment of the roof area into the rebates. All right, so um, yeah, just a quick model. Um, We've just put all the beams, you know, set them exactly where they are so I can uh, lay out the floor sheets next. Um, I'll then start uh, drawing the panels. Um, I've got some initial sketches from um, Victoria and Luke on how they want them, so um, I will draw that shape and then um, I'll probably uh, work on some side profile down here and try and uh, give it a bit of uh, guard profile. Uh, I think they were talking about putting some storage boxes uh, at the back here. Um, there's a little box in there, so I'll draw that up and um, let them have a look at that. But um, yeah, so it's all taking shape. Um, from this, uh, we generally uh, save these as, a, uh, as an EASM file, like so. And uh, we'll email this to the customer along with a download for a uh, 3D viewing program. So at home, you can uh, view your RV in 3D before we make it. Um, this is a pretty cool tool, this one. So you can't change any of the design in here, but um, you can certainly uh, flick it around. You can uh, measure a few things, see how wide and long things are. You can um, do section views. Once we uh, get into the build, you can uh, see how the, uh, the rebates and all that's going to work. So it's, uh, it, it's very handy, this um, program, uh, as we go through the, uh, the design stage. All right, so that's the bit of a wrap up for the uh, volume two. Um, just wanted to give you a bit of a look at um, where we start here um, when you're designing an RV. So it's obviously ground up design. So uh, we're starting from the trailer frame and we're building up. So um, this is where we're at. Um, next volume, I'll, uh, I'll have some floor down and I'll probably have uh, 
a few walls up as well that uh, we can look at in the uh, the CAD world and um, we'll go from there. See you next time. <laughs>